Hi everyone, it's Jamie Griffiths here, your Ableton Live Certified Trainer. And for this video demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to walk mark a cappella tracks. Uh, firstly, if we can start just by opening up the browser and selecting a file from the acapellas folder. Uh, I'm going to use two for this demonstration. The first one is going to be Queen, We Will Rock You. Uh, I'm going to probably put that next to Fadi Le Grand. Uh, which is Metrum. This track here um, is a Umic remix. Um, I sometimes use the original as well with this particular acapella, mainly because they work really well and this acapella is very well known. When you're using acapellas, it's quite important that you're using vocal acapellas that people recognize that you're, you're putting on top live of a DJ mix or even a mashup. Otherwise, if the acapella is so new and fresh, uh, a lot of people are that listening to the song or the track that you've made or you're performing live, uh, they might not really realise that what you're actually doing at the time of the work you put into it. So play safe and use acapellas that people already know and quite popular. So what I'd like to do firstly is, as always, make sure the metronome is switched on, which it is. And we'll double click on that just to make sure that the file comes down here in the device window. And uh, we're going to press play on the clip to see what it sounds like comparing it with a metronome. Alright, it's kind of there, but there's a few things, and probably the most obvious thing you can notice at the moment is that it's, I like to call it, it's like a wobbly, drizzly effect. The sound is actually, uh, the file might have been maybe a different tempo to start off with when it was originally recorded but uh, it might be struggling to keep time the way it's being processed with my master tempo here. So what I'm going to do is um, have a look a little bit more in depth first of all to see what these ghost markers, what clues are giving me. And if I look at this here, I, I, I got a sneaky feeling that this particular ghost marker might actually be a good aid this time to use as the actual start point. So we can uh, we can either double click it or we can just right click on it and set the 1.1 from here. Also, what we need to do is change the algorithm to Complex Pro just to iron out any uh, any wobbly, drizzly kind of strange artifacts that are running through the file while it's been played. And press play again. That's okay. I think what we could do as well is maybe right click on it. And go for a walk from here to see if that actually makes the file a lot more accurately in time. That's quite good. You big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. Singing we yeah. we I'm happy with that. So again. Click on the save button so that you don't have to do this work again next time round. All you need to do is drag it into a new set or reposition wherever you want in the session view. Let's try it this time with the metronome switched off with it playing alongside another track. One last thing I'd probably like to do to this because I know from listening to it previously that it's not exactly in the same key as the Fede Le Grand track. So I'm just going to uh, transpose up by one um, here like this and we've changed the pitch the key of the track to uh, up by one semitone so this time we're going to press both tracks together and see what they sound like together and what I can actually do is maybe scrub maybe at 49 to fairly the ground I think they're ready to go. They're pretty good. So usually with acapellas, like I'd have all this set up with deck A, deck B, and acapellas to my MIDI controller. So I'm working the faders, not with the uh, the cursor, but with real MIDI faders as well, so that it's a much more of a realistic environment. The other thing I want to show you uh, just quickly before we end this video 
is another a cappella. Uh, this one here is probably a little bit more tricky to actually get in time. Now Ableton has improved over the years, especially with Ableton Live 9 now. Um, it's, it's, it tends to get things almost pretty there for you with the accuracy of and the timing and the positioning of uh, where a track or an a cappella should start playing from. This instance, we're going to press play on the uh, Grandmaster Flash, the message, with uh, the Fedi the Grand track again. Try them out, see what they sound like. Okay. So we know just, just from pressing play on that a cappella that it started on glass. It didn't really start on the actual start point of the a cappella. So a good way to remember is um, this little rule is sometimes when you're warping a cappellas, especially if they don't start on the first beat of the bar, you can sometimes like play the file and pick out where the first syllable is, where the first beat of that bar would be within the vocal. So I know that by pressing play on this, probably glass is a, a, a point where the syllable would be. Glass everywhere, people pissing on the stage, you know they just don't care. I can't take the smell, can't take the noise, got no money to move out, I guess I got no choice. Rats in the front. So when it said rats, for instance, that would be a good place, or glass would be another place, because they all start on the first beat of the bar. But the file doesn't really start how I'd, want, how I'd intend it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back by about four measures here. One, two, three, four and try it with the metronome on this time to compare accuracy and timing. Broken glass everywhere, people pissing on the stage. The okay, so that's not the point. We'll take it to this point. Broken glass. Broken glass everywhere, people pissing go. on the stage. You know they just don't care. I can't take the smell, can't take the noise. Got no money to move out, I guess I got no choice. Sometimes the acapellas are, they're not the easiest to warp. Um, and I do get that question quite often when I'm doing sessions. Uh, I'm struggling warping certain acapellas. The best thing I can advise you is to remember to use set your, your main 1.1, like which is here, to start on a syllable or the first beat of the bar, and bring back your start flag then to a more realistic point where you intend it to start from. So the flow from here throughout the acapella is in time with the drums or the metronome you're comparing with. Let's give that a mix now. Turn the metronome off and let's mix both of these one by one to Fetty. And that's how you walk mark uh, acapellas in Ableton. Again, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Enjoy Ableton and keep warping. <laughs>